Hi YouTube, I've been working on my brake system for my Datsun 240Z here. Uh, in this episode I'm putting the front brake calipers on. So I'm up to the last bit of work uh, as part of my brake rebuild project for my Datsun 240Z here. Um, I've previously put in the rear drum uh, Resleeve drum brake cylinders and rebuilt uh, assembled those drums. Uh, I've also put in a new old stock master cylinder as well because I've sent my previous one away to be resleeved, but it was uh, beyond repair. Um, so now I'm putting the front brake calipers on. I've rebuilt these myself. If you're interested in seeing that video, uh, I'll put a card up to that um, for you to look at. Uh, also, have a look at the other uh, around the channel. The, you'll see the videos for um, the drum cylinder assembly if um, that's of interest to you. Um, I hope it is. So, all right, let's get down to the front hubs and put these together. So I'm down here at the uh, front hub. Um, you can see this is the brake line that comes from the circuit through a soft line to a hard line that joins into the caliper. Uh, I've had mine replaced with new items, um, but essentially putting the front caliper in is, n is not very difficult at all. We have two large bolts, bolts here that hold it in place and this um, brake line hooks into that uh, the rest are all just pins and clips to hold in brake pads so um, first thing for me is I've just loosely put these bolts in here back in their spot so when I pull it apart I don't lose them but that's the first thing is bolt it back in with these bolts so first thing to do if it's not done so already is make sure your uh, soft hard line clip is out which is this retainer clip here ah, got it. so the purpose of that is it allows this to move so you have some first of all you can push it out of the way when you're putting your caliper in but also when you're doing it up, it allows you to align it, then replace this uh, retaining retaining U clip. So the bolts are 17 mil. Uh, I'm now just torquing them up with my torque wrench to 65 foot pounds of torque. Another thing not we have to do up in this whole process is put this hard line into the back of the um, caliper. Uh, that hard line is a 10 mil open end pipe spinner last thing to do is to take this uh, where the soft line turns into a hard line uh, put this U retaining shim in and just tap it into place so that's done the rest is now just inserting some brake pads so with with the brake pads you have two accessories to attach to them one is an anti squeal shim uh, which this arrow uh, points, I always treat it as this arrow points towards the bleeder screw for the install and we've got this retaining clip that goes in on top um, and this retaining clip is important because it helps hold uh, the brake pads um, down uh, against the pin so they don't rattle as well so these are important to get on. So we just slide the brake pads into place um, your pistons, if you rebuilt your calipers, calipers, your pistons should be pushed all the way out during this process. And the next thing is to insert some pins. You'll see that they have a little hole which takes a retaining clip. If you can see that, clips in. So put these in. Uh, the, the Datsun manual says the, the mushroom head goes in towards the car. So the two um, retaining pins that hold the brake pads in place are in. So the next thing is to put these little clips in the holes. Now it's just the last pin. Done. That is literally all that's to, to do with the front calipers. So these bad boys are now done. Uh, they're ready for uh, some bleeding. Um, yeah. The install is very simple, it's not rocket science, so anyone can really do it. So my brake rebuild project is now complete for the Statson 240Z. All that's left to do is bleed the brakes, but I don't think you guys would be interested in doing that, so I'll do that uh, separately. Um, once I've bled the brakes, I'll be able to get back to where I was a few months ago, and that's tuning 
the ignition table for uh, using the mega squirt computer with my locked distributor um, and get back on track to trying to get extract 200 rear wheel horsepower out of these SUs on this stroker motor so I'll be looking forward to getting back to that any progress is good progress so I'm glad about that uh, if you like the video hit give it a like uh, if you got any feedback leave a comment um, have a look at our Facebook and Instagram page and thank you for watching